Hey, welcome back. Uh, unit 7-6 here. We're going to be solving inequalities with variables on both sides. Now we've solved equations with variables on both sides. This time we're going to have some inequalities. So the only thing we have to watch out for is that negative sign. And maybe we can show you a way around that. Alright, our math career for today. Here's our, here's our offering. A mathematical biophysicist. Boy, that's a mouthful there. Mathematical bi biophysicist. These people, of course, are going to work um, usually in the chemistry or medical field, but they're going to develop theories and methods of physical sciences for the investigation of biological systems. You're going to have some math down there to do, probably lots of uh, medicine, chemistry, physics, and so on, and you can see you got some pretty healthy salaries there. So if you like research, you like working uh, in a computer setting and hands-on and seeing what happens when you apply uh, mathematics to science, that'd be a good job. All right, today we will learn to solve inequalities with variables on both sides, such as 3m is greater than 2m minus 14. All right, let's see. So watch for the conditions where you have to flip the inequality sign. Let's see what we can do. So consider the following. 7k is greater than 4k plus 15. Well, let's go ahead and do what we know how to do with variables on both sides. Let's get rid of the smaller version. Okay, there's variables on both sides here. So let's get rid of the smaller version of this. How about we get rid of the 4K? So we're going to subtract 4K from both sides of our inequality here. And we end up with 3K is greater than 15. You know what to do next. Divide both sides by 3. And our final result is K is greater than 5. So any value for K that you choose, as long as it's larger than 5, 5.0001 all the way up to... 500 trillion or positive infinity is going to work here. And of course there's no change in our flipping the sign. Now remember the blue there says whatever you do to one side of an equation or in this case inequality you must do to the other. Same rule applies as always. So try this one on your own. 2x minus 5, sorry, let's flip that. 5x minus 2 is less than or equal to 3x plus 8. Give that one a try and let's see what you do. All right then, how about this? Did you start by getting all the variables on one side? Let's get rid of the smaller version. Looks like we're gonna subtract three X. We end up here with two X minus two is less than or equal to eight. Let's add two to both sides. Rewrite that, any that says equation, should say inequality. And we're gonna end up adding two to both sides and we end up with two X is less than or equal to 10. Divide both sides by two and just like that, x is less than or equal to 5. As long as you pick a value for x that's 5 or less, you're good to go. And again, there's no change in our sign there. How about the distributive property? So if we have something like this, let's deal with that distri distribution first. So we'll start here. Go ahead and give that one a try on your own. Let's see what you come up with. You've seen this one before, I think, just with uh, an equation on an inequality. All right, did you distribute that and get uh, 2y plus, hopefully you put down a 12, very good, is greater than 3y. I'm going to get rid of the smaller version of y, and I'm down to a nice simple answer of y is less than 12. Again, no change. And why is that? How come we haven't had to flip that inequality at all? Well, if you always get rid of the smaller version of the variable, you really shouldn't have to worry about flipping the inequality. So try to keep that in mind. There's no hard and fast math rule about which one to subtract or add or whatever. But just from experience, get rid of the smaller one. Things go pretty smooth. All right then, if you'd like more instruction there at the top, if you would like some practice, which I strongly encourage, grab that digital uh, practice there and spend five minutes. See what you do. All right then, talk to you soon.